Hey, Reds fans. What you may have noticed over the past couple of years is that the Reds front office has been very aggressive on the trade market and the free agent market to improve the Major League roster. Now, what you may not have seen is that they've tried to do the same with their minor league developmental system. They've done that again this year with hiring Kyle Bode, who started this driveline facility here in Seattle 10 years ago. I started coaching Little League for a couple of years and then high school baseball. And I figured when I wanted to get into it, I wanted to get some more concrete answers rather than when I played, you know, coach tells you do this or this. Uh, and there's not a lot of room for why, right? So I wanted to make sure I was accountable to my players, and it really started there. The Reds hired Bodie as minor league director of pitching initiatives and pitching coordinator. They've done this because of his unique approach to the improvement of pitchers. So it was started with a lot of research in medical journals, a lot of work with a guy named Dr. Coop Duran, the University of Hawaii, who did a lot of original research on weighted baseballs. So read those journals, figured, why is no one looking into this? Why is no one looking into this? Why is no one integrating physical therapy? So looking at guys like Dr. Terry Phillips behind me and other people, uh, just trying to get enough resources together to build a team. You can find written stuff by me from 10 years ago on this topic. So I think when people search, uh, they can see a wide history of what I've done. I've documented it. Uh, but it turns out that, hey, people are paying attention. So it was a real big light bulb for me that creating content and documenting what we're doing, documenting our mistakes um, was going to go a long way. Well, Driveline began as a velocity-based program where pitchers would use these weighted balls to get their velocities as a spike. It's evolved now into something a little bit more where there's physical therapy involved, pitch design, recovery, weightlifting, you name it, and also the ability for Kyle Bode and his crew to spread the Driveline method throughout the industry. Thinking about training velocity, it was not it wasn't a common thing 10 years ago. You know, today it's become more common, so it's changed significantly. Now we have you know, tons of cameras, track man, that type of stuff, really delving into the deep side of like, you know, pitch, pitch design and, and how we can work with guys. All we want to do is give the best tools to the coaches, whether it's college, pro, whatever, to enable them to do their job better. You know, we're not trying to tell them that they're wrong. Actually, most of the time, the best coaches uh, are right, but we're just giving them a chance to like repeat it. So it turns out that our primary product is actually training employees, you know, to make sure that the athletes are taken care of. So if we take care of our employees, give our coaches everything they need, then the athletes will be taken care of. So that's the big change I've made over the last five years at Driveline Baseball, which is to coach the coaches. And I think that's what a good pitching coordinator does too. He steps away from the product, he lets the coaches do their job, he sets them up systems, and he sets them up for success. So Driveline's experienced a ton of success over the past couple of years. So our question for Kyle was simply, why make a change to an organization now? And why the Cincinnati Reds? Uh, I interviewed with a lot of teams. It's no, it's no secret. Had offers from a few, but the Reds, and to be honest, I thought the Reds were, uh, you know, like they weren't like, oh, this is a team that I could see myself working for. But when I sat down with them, like all the guys had really prepared, really tough questions, right? Like, hey, this is a position, we're going in this direction. We think you're the best candidate, but here's very prepared, difficult questions. You have an hour with Nick Crawl, an hour with Dick Williams, an hour with Sean Pender. Like, I got a sheet when I walked in. Here's your agenda for today. Here's your agenda for tomorrow. Like a real corporate interview. And it was a good baseball conversation too. We had a round table discussion, but like Dick treated it like, hey, this is a high importance job, right? And we're gonna treat it as such. And we're gonna interview you and we're gonna grill you. And it's gonna be hard. Um, you know, it wasn't, it was friendly most of the time, but not other times, but that's good. Like you wanna be challenged. Uh, and yeah, and that's, I walked away just saying like, man, I hope I get an offer because like this, it's gonna make it tough, but uh, like this was a really impressive process. Like, I told my partner this, I told my wife this, I'm deciding between three different offers and I'm like, this just feels, it feels right. Yeah. Like, it feels like the right place to be. It's important to me that a minor league team, a minor league system, you know, we have a lot of challenges as far as like, we're not the biggest market team. Um, and that's good because like that's, this needs to succeed. Like yeah. this is exciting for me. Like working with a mid-market team um, is, is more my speed anyway.